Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got an Audi A3 1.4 TFSI e-tron Sportback, finished in Ibis white solid paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 17 inch 15 spoke turbine design alloys. At the back you get a generous size boot and the back seats will fall down if you need any extra room in there. Um, there isn't any underfloor storage on the e-tron due to the uh, battery pack being under the floor here, but there is still a good amount of space in there. This car has got MOT until the 2nd of the 11th, 2022, and we'll come with a full Audi dealership history. So inside we have the seats with the headlining in rock grey and also rock grey on this little strip here. That's the same for the rear seats as well with the exception of the centre seat which is just a cloth, uh, black cloth seat. You also got these aluminium Mistral inserts on here and across the dash as well. They also continue to the rear as well. So on the screen in front you have your digital speeder, you've also got an onboard computer with your average speed, average MPG, uh, fuel range, things like that on there. You've also got an energy flow display, um, as a lot of hybrids do actually, um, which shows you when you're driving, where the energy is going, where it's been used from, um, if it's going back into the battery or anything like that. Uh, you've also got a rev counter on here as well, as you don't actually have a rev counter due to it, um, having the more electric screen on the left hand side with the charge and your boost and things like that. You've also got um, lane assist in here as well, so that's just a graphic for that traffic sign display so when you're driving it will recognize the traffic signs on the road um, so if you want those on there then you can and you've also got a reduced display which turns that off me personally I like having the digital speeder but that might just be because I am used to it because I've got one in my car um, when you've got the digital speed on and various other screens you do also still have the little scroller screen here um, so you can still show your uh, things like that so you've got your fuel range there your energy sorry your battery and your fuel range combined uh, range on there as well things like that so moving on to the central screen we have audi smartphones that is apple carplay and android auto so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car if you prefer just have your calls and your music coming through then you can do that just via bluetooth as well you also got various different other sources as well as bluetooth for your music you've got aux sd um, USB and CD player which is located okay just in the glove box there. You've also got DAB, FM, AM radio, your sound settings so you can change your bass, your treble, your balance, your fader, things like that on there. And you've also got your car settings so your servicing is on here as well so you can see when your next service is due. Um, you will get a reminder nearer the time but if you want to keep an eye on it then you can. You've also got Audi Drive Select, so you've got Comfort, Auto, Dynamic and Individual settings. Um, comfort is best for around town, um, you've got lighter steering and a less sharp throttle response, um, so crawling in traffic is a lot easier as well. Um, auto, the car will um, judge how it thinks you're driving, sort of your average speed, so if you're on a motorway your average speed is 60 or 70, um, it will know that you're driving on a motorway and it will adapt to that. Dynamic mode is your sport mode, so the steering gets heavier and the throttle response is a lot sharper. Um, and the engine um, gives that more power as well so you've got full performance from the engine you've also got individual settings so you can change the engine and the gearbox and the steering separately so as you can see the engine and gearbox is in dynamic steering in comfort so you've got that sharp throttle response from the engine uh, and from the um, throttle itself um, you've got the sporty gearbox and then you've got the light steering um, for maneuverability and things like that so you've got the best of both worlds really You've also got various different other settings on here as well. You've got your range and your statistics, your charging, your vehicle settings, and your driver assist. Um, so this car does come with rear parking sensors, so you can change the uh, the volume and the tone of the rear parking sensors as well. You've also got colour sat nav. Um, the Audi sat nav system is very easy to use, uh, nice up to date, um, and it does what it says on the tin it gets you where you need to go um, you've got all these points of interest on here which you can edit so if you don't want them uh, then you don't have to have them on there you can just have for example um, petrol stations 
um, parking, things like that, you can edit those. So that's a little petrol station symbol there. Uh, but you've got cafes, you've got libraries, you've got all sorts on there. So um, you can edit that down to the minimum that you want. Also different zoom levels, so you can get a nice big overview of your area or you can be right on yourself um, at 30 yards range. Um, and there's also different orientations, so you can have um, 3D orientation, 2D orientation, um, auto, day or night settings, things like that. So it's quite a, a lot of things you can change on here um, to suit what you want from the SatNav system itself. Moving now, we have your EV button. So you can switch between your uh, EV modes, uh, electric driving only um, when you've got enough charge in the battery, um, hybrid um, to use the battery charge and the engine together, and battery hold so you maintain the charge so it just uses the petrol engine. You've also got your stability control and the button to turn the screen off like this. Um, so if you do have a route set or anything like that, it won't actually cancel the route, it'll just put the screen away. Um, so you don't actually lose any of your, your settings or your information uh, by putting the screen away. You've also got your drive select shortcut, so you can quickly scroll through um, your drive select modes. Um, so if you're going from motorway to town drive and you want to change the drive mode, you can without having to go through the system itself. Moving down, we have uh, dual zone electric climate control. So you've got a temperature gauge for the passenger and a temperature for the driver as well with your usual directional uh, controls, uh, rear heated window and your fan speed as well, as well as aircon. Um, we also have a 12 volt socket down here, a couple of cup holders, your ESTronic gearbox. So you've got a standard drive mode and a sporty setup for the gearbox. Um, so the standard drive mode uh, is optimized for efficiency whereas the uh, sporty setup keeps the power in the best power band possible for performance um, so it lets the engine rev a bit higher um, and keeps it in the best optimum place you also have push button start here your volume controls and the shortcuts for the infotainment screen um, four shortcuts your menu button your back button and your swivel wheel um, to control the main menus with left and right buttons. Some screens will have a left and right button, um, others won't. So for example, um, on here you've got a left and a right, so they correlate to, you can push the joystick, well use it like a joystick, push left and right, but you do also have the left and right buttons there as well. Um, you also get an electronic parking brake and hill hold assist as well. So we have um, the standard steering wheel, it's a very nice steering wheel, it's not too big, not too small, so you get a nice grip on it, um, good quality leather. Um, we have your multifunction controls on the left for the screen in front, so you've got your scroll, you've got your menu button just there, uh, and then to select you just press the uh, scroller button in and then you can switch left and right. So switching left and right, uh, you've got various different tabs at the top, so you've got your radio, your media tab there, your Bluetooth telephone tab so you can make calls directly from there and your sat nav so when you have a sat nav route set it will show your next direction um, when you do it it's just a compass um, and when you're driving it will come up on with the road name as well um, so if you I don't know checking a map as well for example um, the road name will come up on there and you can find out where you are again you've still got the scroller on there um, so you can see your average fuel, um, your fuel range and your mileage, things like that on there as well. Uh, you've got your volume controls, your hands-free controls on the right-hand side. You also have cruise control, flappy paddles for if you prefer a manual style of driving. You have your lane keep assist button on the end of the stalk there, which just brings that little orange symbol up at the bottom to tell you it's on. You also got um, rain sensing wipers, automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors as well. I'll just move to the back. So in the back you've got enough space for three, um, again with the black rally cloth seats and the rock grey on the backs of them as well. Same quality in the back as the front, very good build quality. The e-trons are very very nice to drive, very comfortable and they make a perfect daily driver really. It will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Thank you.